finally found my favorite deodorant. Hey guys, so today I'm finally going to be talking about natural deodorants. I've literally said that I was going to do my thoughts on the native deodorant for a whole year now. <laughs> I've only tried four natural deodorants, but I have found the best one in my opinion. Like, I don't even feel like I need to look for any more because this one works so well. And you're just going to have to stay tuned till the end of my journey for you to see what it is or you can just look down below but whatever it's funny first i'm just gonna like tell you about my journey of natural deodorant so i just kind of like saw some things about how aluminum can cause cancer or it's linked to cancer breast cancer or whatever the case may be i've heard a lot of different things it's not really hard to persuade me into things that are bettering my health even if it isn't true, I would still rather take the chance of it not being true and do that and then be healthier in another way than just continuing on with my old ways and then taking the chance of it being true and then yeah, it's just good precautions. It's really not healthy for you to just be clogging up your armpits with antiperspirant. When I talk about this, they're like, oh, well, I need me an antiperspirant. Do they make that in a natural version? And I'm like, no, because that's like the thing. Antiperspirants have the ingredient aluminum and also propylene glycol and I don't know if both of those cause it or just aluminum. I actually hadn't heard anything about propylene glycol until a lot more recently and then I realized actually one of these does have it in it. If I see one thing then I'm gonna switch over. Like when I started doing my project about plastics I just like want to switch over. Not saying that I'm not gonna use any plastics it's just like all the single-use plastics, plastic bags, plastic water bottles, things like that and like how the plastic from the plastic water bottles if you have it in your car then the polymers are like unlinked very easily in the heat and then they leach into your water. That's a whole different topic. If you want me to do a video on plastic I'll probably have a very catchy title to it, but I'm probably going to do that anyways just because we really need to be aware of that. That's a totally different subject. That's kind of like on the subject of being like natural, sore. Yeah, I got my first native deodorant in March of last year. Once I finished, and then I was like, well, I obviously like it enough to finish it, so I just went ahead and ordered a second one and just kept using it. I wasn't like completely in love with it, but I was also like, I feel like this is the best I'm gonna get for a natural deodorant. After I went through like my two native deodorants, I was coming to the end of this one. So I went through two of them in one year, which isn't that bad. So then after that, I was like, okay, literally everyone keeps saying that this La Vanilla Sport Lux, the healthy deodorant is so good. Like it's the best natural deodorant ever. I didn't just hear it once. I heard it multiple times and I read reviews. And it, first of all, it smells so good. Like it smells like laundry detergent. I haven't used this in a while. So the top is actually kind of hard. When I first got it, like whenever you put it on, it feels kind of wet. So like when I read reviews on natural deodorants, I keep in the back of my mind that some of these people are trying, trying natural deodorants for the first time and aren't giving themselves like enough time to detox. They say that you can smell worse. I honestly don't remember if I smelled worse. Um, in the beginning, but I probably just thought that that was how it was going to smell because it was natural deodorant. I always keep in mind that some people don't detox and so they're giving it a really bad review for that reason. Whenever I try a natural deodorant for the first time, I bring it with me. This smells so much better. Like the thing was this native one. I have the coconut vanilla one. I've tried a few of the other ones in the mini size and I feel like they don't work as well. They do smell better. Like they smell a lot fresher. This is kind of like you have cake under your armpits, which I don't really like. I want a fresh smell when it comes to my armpits, not a sweet smell. This is like super jelly of a formula. I don't know like liquid but like whenever you put it on you feel like you can't feel like there's stuff that came off the stick and there's not really much on you but it feels like really wet but it's not wet but it's really yeah so I just like kind of let it dry I wouldn't even be sweating yet and I would smell so bad in like an hour and it would have that armpit BO smell I haven't had that smell like since I started using natural deodorant and I was like what in the world but I would just reapply it because this smelled like laundry detergent so it covered it right up but I was like putting this on three times a day and I was like that can't be good plus it was making me sweat so much my native one like I sweat with it but I just kind of got used to it and with this I was just like what in the world like I was literally like a waterfall all day even when it was cold this is number four this is awful for me I know there are people that love this so I would recommend you try out the small size I just was like oh everyone loves this I'm gonna love it and this was the most expensive one and it's my least favorite so just keep that in mind. That was $14, so it's only $2 more expensive than my native one, but still, I was very disappointed. And then my third one, I used this actually for quite a while, probably like a month and a half or so. When I found out that Dove was coming out with like the zero aluminum line, I was just really excited 
because I used to use this Dove one. It looks like this exact bottle, but it's like solid white and it's the antiperspirant. And I loved it because I smelled good all day. This smells exactly like it and I love the smell of this. Like I love cucumber smell. And then the thing with these two that are like more of a liquidy formula, they would really burn after I shaved my armpits. This has 0% alcohol and 0% aluminum, but there's actually propylene glycol in here. It's literally one of the first ingredients. I didn't really realize that until the end, but this is another one that smells so good. It's a deodorant that I could reapply on top of the already existing smell and it would smell like super fresh, but I would sweat so much like so much more than the native one like I never sweat this much and I would it would literally be cold and I was sweating I was just sweating constantly all the time and I was just like okay this is not gonna work like I cannot be sweating all the time so then I went back to my native deodorant I had a travel size because when I bought this one they actually have started carrying native at Target now which is really convenient I picked up a travel size of this one just so that if it didn't work then I would at least have a backup because I was going on a trip that weekend then that got retired and I started using this again because I was like okay well literally nothing is gonna be as good as this apparently so I was actually gonna try the cucumber one because I'm just tired of this one because it's just like coconutty and and it's not coconutty like it's not like the fresh kind of coconut that like the suave deodorants were i know i used to use that like hawaiian one from suave whenever i was like 12. that's why i held off for this video for so long because i would sit here and be like i mean it's good it's okay but i like it's it's not like the best because i wouldn't know what the best was whenever you put this on you kind of have to learn this one and my favorite one you kind of have to apply in the same way i feel like a lot of people don't talk about that and like the edges of this get really messy my other one that i have doesn't do that because i like know how to use it now whenever you're applying it you kind of like let it sit for like 10 seconds and then you go down one swipe and then maybe up another swipe but you get so much product because it's kind of like a very creamy formula this one is and then you pat it in with the stick and then flip it over to the other side so that whenever you do it on this side it evens out so that there's not a bunch on one side if that makes sense and that's how i apply that one as well i know i keep saying that one but i just want to hold it until the end the thing with this one is i do sweat with this one so i was used to sweating a little bit but then when it came to these like super liquidy ones it was like so much sweat and when i went back to this one i realized how much i didn't sweat then at the end of the day like i would smell okay Okay. I just would smell kind of like expired cake or something. I would never have a BO smell though. I just wouldn't smell like flowers or like cucumber at the end of the day. Honestly, at one point I had lost all hope and was just like, I don't know how I'm going to last through the summer. Like I honestly don't know how I did it with this last summer. I was just like, I just want to go back to my antiperspirant. One day I just like randomly typed into YouTube natural deodorants. That's all I put in. And then this couple tested out like 20 different natural deodorants. First of all, their favorite one was something that I'd seen before, but I never even like looked at this line because I just thought that it was really bad. So they tried a few from this line and this one was their favorite. I'll try and find the video and link it down below because they found a bunch of duds. So here it is. This is the Schmitz Charcoal and Magnesium Mineral Enrich Natural Deodorant. The packaging is like exactly the same it's kind of weird showing you my deodorant but like i've been using this for two weeks now i literally wanted to make this video after one day but i was like okay well i can't do that because one of the reviews i actually watched on this the girl had allergic reaction like her armpits got really really dry this smells like lime it smells so good this does have a little bit more of a grainy formula and when you first get it it's going to be a little harder and that's the same exact with this one i just hold it on my armpits and then swipe down and i only you do one swipe with this and then i pat it in with the stick i'm not about to be putting my hands in the deodorant like that just disgusts me first of all i never ever smell like expired anything no bo smell nothing like that like i literally did a dream cleanup this morning and was in the hot sun like picking up trash out of the soil and like i don't smell bad at all this doesn't smell like lime at the end of the day but it smells like i don't know like charcoal i guess the only times i've ever sweat is whenever i'm literally in my car that has like black interior so it's super hot in there it's hotter in my car than it is outside most of the time that's the only time i've ever sweat like super bad if i cool down then my sweating stops when i'm barely warm i don't sweat like i never sweat except whenever i'm actually hot and whenever i would actually normally sweat this is like so amazing i cannot believe it and i haven't had any reaction of like drying out charcoal is like a really good natural thing that absorbs wetness that's what this says it says this natural formula helps 
helps neutralize odor and absorb wetness, free of aluminum, propylene glycol, parabens, and phthalates. And it says hold product momentarily to skin to soften on contact with body heat. I think this was like $5. The native is like $12. This one is probably like $6 to like $8. And then this one is $14. I literally am so excited about this. This is so good. I don't know what, how an antiperspirant performs anymore because I haven't used one in like a year. But this is so good with the native one i always felt like i needed to wash my armpits every morning because i felt like i needed to get that extra cube off because i felt like my armpits were always a little bit moist but with this one at the end of the day if i feel my armpits it's like a powder on my underarms plus it's like this is schmidt's line from new girl I would say do not try any of these without trying this one. If you want to switch to natural deodorant or you still haven't found a natural deodorant that is good for you, that keeps your sweat away, but also like is natural and smells good. So if this one irritates you, then I would definitely try this one because it's a lot more moisturizing. This one is definitely like a lot of a drier formula. If you're sweaty and you want to switch over to natural deodorant, I would just try this first, but also allow yourself to detox. I don't know how this is whenever you're not detoxed because I tried this after a year of being detoxed. I'm so excited to post this video, but after this, I'm gonna be filming my Taylor Swift me music video recreation look. That will probably be up first because I just really wanna get it up while it's still new. So yeah, I really hope y'all did enjoy this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. I don't always make deodorant videos, but if you have anything else you want me to do, then just let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Peace. Whoop.